Farmers, what's going on? Welcome back to another Haiti video. In this video, we're going to be playing the brand new Valley season in Haiti. I'm not sure what season this is, but I'll put it in the description because I forget like all the time. Uh, but you can see it's a Sanctuary Valley and we're going to get this really beautiful decoration, which I'm so excited to get. So without wasting any further time, let's get right into the game and start exploring this Valley season. Let's go. I'm finally in the game and I'm just going to get started and see what's going on so you can have a look at my farm. I haven't been into the game for like a couple of days now, so I'm just gonna see what's going on. Let's check my neighborhood over here. Okay, let's see what do we have. I'm just gonna claim my free reward. And we're actually getting a lot of these um, booster packs that you can purchase with real money. You're gonna get some diamonds with them too. I think in the past we didn't use to get like the big booster bundle the over here. Um, yeah, I think it's relatively new. And of course, I can get an um, XP booster for 20 diamonds, which is nice. So let's just um, send these visitors away because I don't want to sell them anything. I think I'm just going to get right into the valley. You guys can see the board has been updated. Now, the valley did start two weeks ago, so I'm kind of late and I still haven't played it. So I don't know what's going on, but you can see... Um, this is a valley map this time, and I see a lot of animals. I think it's going to be so much fun. So the first thing that I always do when I enter into the valley, I check the shop. So here we go with the shop. You're going to get um, 30 diamonds as usual. There's going to be this cool deco. It's called as the Bee in Harmony. I think this has been inspired from the country Thailand. And uh, you're also going to get these boosters, which is Tom, XP, and the boat one, as usual. So for my common shop, I'm getting, that's one expansion permit. Okay, that's um one puzzle piece. Okay, so two expansion permits and two puzzle pieces. Not bad, but usually I get like um, three of them. So I'm just going to spin this wheel for the fuel, and then I'm just gonna do some goals. Now that's a really bad start. That's not a good start, you guys. I hate when this happens. It is a sign that something's definitely gonna get wrong, and I'm not happy for this. I am not happy. Okay, this is good. I got nine this time. By the way, I don't know why my game looks like this. It's so weird, like I just entered and it's showing me this weird layout. I'm sorry if this is bothering you. Okay, seven, and um, I've got 22, so let's see. Come on. Okay, this is another seven. So I've got in total 29. And let's see what my goals are for today. No, they are the worst. I have to play the corn, uh, fill the crates, and feed one um, sheep. So I think I'm just going to do the uh, sheep one over here. Yeah, let's uh, collect some wool. And then I can just uh, feed them. And then I can also do some of the crates over here. What is this? Oh, it's the pomegranate cake. I can't believe I just have like two. I guess I never made them. This is going to be such a challenging boat. Like, I don't have the stuff and I don't know what am I doing, but I'm just going to ask for help on all the stuff. And then I think it asked me to um, plant some corn. So, what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to be selling um, a bunch of crops over here that I've been storing in my silo for like a really long time. And I haven't been making a lot of products. So I think I'm just going to make a lot of soy sauce. That's actually a good way to get rid of a lot of these soybeans. And then I can make some oil. Okay, that's cool. And uh, let's see what other crops do I have. I have a lot of chili pepper, cabbage. Basically, I have all the crops. It just means that I need to make more products. But um, let's just harvest. And I think I will plant more corn because... Now, I honestly hate these uh, crop tasks for the valley because they're, like, really boring and they don't give you a lot of points. So, make sure to unwind them as much as you can. But, I mean, you can't really do anything. It's, like, it's very random. It's automatic. It's not something that you choose intentionally, I guess. Yeah, the game gives you the tasks randomly. Anyways, I'm here. I think I can do just uh, one more spin. So... Let's do that, and then I'm going to do some driving. We can probably pick some animals, transfer them, and we can just have some fun. Oh my god. Come on, not six. Oh, I hate this. I hate this, you guys. Okay, can't do anything. Um, let's uh, find my truck. I think. So we're going to start um, going to the buildings. Now, I'm sure you guys know how the valley works. If you don't, you can check out my uh, detailed guide on the valleys. I've, like, made a couple of videos where I talk everything about in detail. 
Uh, but basically, you collect um, the tokens by completing these orders, and then you spend those tokens to buy a lot of things. And um, since this is a sanctuary valley, you will have to collect the sanctuary animals instead of the chickens like they're in the normal valley. And then you have to transfer them uh, to the sanctuary. You get like more tokens. I think 25% extra tokens. Um, so yeah, let's see if I can actually find some animals. I do see a sanctuary over here. Um, yeah, and I do see some animals too. Okay, we're gonna do this. Let's come right here to the fuel station and see if I can get some fuel or not. No, I can't. I'm not gonna spend uh, 10 diamonds for that. So I just um, found my first uh, giraffe and in total you have to collect 400 animals if you wanna unlock any of these rewards. Um, it's actually very easy if you're in an active neighborhood, like even if you don't play, since I didn't play, but my neighbors still collected a lot of animals. So this was not an issue for me, not at all. Uh, that's one of the perks of being in an active neighborhood. Okay, um, should I do the delivery request? I'm kind of skeptical about it because uh, let's do this. I don't care. They're usually not my favorite and I just don't do them, but okay, we're going to accept it and come on, where do I even have to go? you got to be kidding me. Oh my God. It's like a distance of what? 100 miles? <laughs> come on. This wasn't fair. What if I ran out of fuel? What am I going to do then? Hate is really trying to trick me right now. But I'm glad that there's like a bunch of animals that I can pick on the way. Um, yeah. Okay, I think I completed all my goals. Yes, I did. We're just gonna open this. Uh, what was that? I got a fishing booster. Not my thing. Okay, where should I go? I think I'm gonna go this way. Uh, did I complete this? No, I was just gonna forget this building. That was gonna be a whole mess. Uh, let's uh, pick this hippo. Okay, I have um, all the animals now, and I I think it's time to find a sanctuary because if I didn't, I'm gonna get ruined and I have 15 fuel. I don't know where am I going to go. You guys, this is giving me bad feelings. I think that I'm gonna miss um, the sanctuary because there is not any sanctuary that I see over here. No, this is not good. There's one over here, but I think it's still far away and I might not be able to reach. Nope, I don't think I'm gonna reach. But we're not going to give up. We're going to keep driving. I still have eight fuels. Yes, I think I can actually go. Um, I'm not going to do the delivery request again. I think I'm going to... You know what, you guys? Uh, okay, this is not good. This is not good. I can't come over here. Uh, should I try my luck and try to get some fuel? I mean, I don't even know if it's going to be worth it. It was totally worth it. Yay, I'm so happy for that. Did I got any? Yes, I did. No, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh my god. Oh, I could have had to spend my fuel on some other buildings first instead of just driving over here. Yeah, as you can see, it says Animal Sanctuary. Carefully removing the animals from your truck. Please wait. I wonder why it takes like 30 minutes. Like, that's just three animals. So you can see, I'm going to get a lot of tokens. It's 25% extra tokens. So Sanctuary Valley is kind of my favorite. I mean, I do like it better than the Chickens Valley, just because you can get more tokens in less time. And you can actually purchase a lot of these rewards, which is good. So yeah, that was all about this Valley season. I'm not sure what season this was, probably over 40 or something. I'll put it in the description. Uh, but you have a chance to get this really cool um, bee statue. I think it's golden in color. Yeah, kind of yellow and golden. I do like the golden statues. And it has been inspired from the country Thailand. So make sure you play it if you want to get it. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get the deco. I've just been missing and skipping a lot of the decos for like a past couple of months, but maybe in the future, once I get free, I'll be able to get my hands on these cool decos. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know what you think of this valley. What, what do you think about the deco this time? And what sanctuary do you prefer to play? Is it the chickens or is it the sanctuary? Subscribe to the channel for more hidden content coming. Thank you so much for watching and supporting. I really appreciate you guys. Have a good day. Bye.